folks this is a fire video i'm talking about a chicago resident a black woman she is a little bit pissed off about what's going on in our country right now and she is talking about the democrat party she's talking about trump but she's talking about biden she's going to let everybody know just how she feels because she's telling us how the cow ate the cabbage and truth be known she's absolutely right about everything she says and uh this video ought to go viral share the sucker out um it's about a week or two old i believe but uh i just happened to find it this morning nothing but good stuff here folks uh, i'll give my two cents a little bit at the end of the video at the end of the video uh just to let you know um a couple of key points that i thought were interesting but let's go ahead and jump into it together democratic party they promote black women mm -hmm. but particularly if she's a lesbian yes. they promote <laughs> black women who are I not know, even know. qualified I mean, I mm -hmm. we have seen with the diversity equity and inclusion which is really racism, which is really saying, well, black people just, darn it, they're, they're not smart enough, so we have to give them handouts. Exactly. The and you're pushing that. black women who are not qualified, Dr. Claudine Gay of Harvard. Yes. Now the head of diversity at Harvard is also accused, if I have it correctly, <laughs> of plagiarism. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll get to Fanny, Fanny Willis, who was elected as a DA in Fulton County, Georgia, Primarily because she's black, in my opinion. And we've seen case after case. But the black man, where is he? That's done deliberately. And this started really in the 60s where the Democrats pushed policy, right, that said to women, particularly black women, you don't need a man in the home. We'll give you more money if, you, if you're single. And I grew up in the 70s and I saw the effects. I saw it in the 80s, the broken home. Now it's more dysfunctional home where you have some women with eight children by five different fathers. Exactly. They don't know who their fathers are, in and out. It's, it's, it has almost destroyed the black community. But they're doing it in a different way now. They're promoting black women and want black men to be down here. And I think black men sense that. And they know that Trump relates to them. They relate to Trump very well the evil well, he's a Barack, Obama. Yeah. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is a foot soldier. Oh, yeah, for he's the globalist yeah. elite. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Barack Obama was a plant. Yes. yes. He was. He was. And now they want to put Michelle Barack away. Obama was yes. a plant. <laughs> he did nothing for the black community. Nobody even knows who he is. Has, did he ever come back to Chicago with as no. much crime to talk to young black men? No. He doesn't give a mm. damn. No, he doesn't. Barack Obama is a curse on this nation. So is Joe Biden. I think it's the black. Yes. We provide the money for his Marxist socialist programs, yes. pushing abortion in Africa and other things. He didn't care about us. No. He didn't care. That gave rise to Trump because Trump actually listened to us. He actually cares. Many of us, I mean, it was bad. At least Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton BS and said, I feel your pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least he said it. Barack Obama didn't give a damn. He should have never been elected. Before he was elected in 2000, and, what, he got elected in 2008, my mother sent, may God rest her soul, letters to black churches warning them about Barack Obama, saying he was so ungodly. I said, Mom, that's harsh. She, she wrote it anyway. That's right. And everything my mother said, may God rest her soul, was right. He hates this country, but he wants to live off the fat of the land. Like the founders of Black Lives Matter, they don't give a damn about black people. They didn't have to spend one dime to help build a black business. But these lesbians, they bought homes exactly. in predominantly white neighborhoods. Yes. See, they say they hate capitalism, yes. but they love to use us and live off of capitalism while they spout an anti-God, anti-America rhetoric. So right. I just they got you in a black community. They put us in danger. No, not all black people are drug dealers or this or that, but you're harming the average black who lives in an area that has is high crime. When you talk about defund the police. And we saw the other day in New York City, where you have illegals beating up NYPD officers. That went viral. But under Trump, something like that would have been dealt with immediately. He would have spoken out immediately. Alvin Bragg, from what I understand, helped them to be get out. No, no, no. 
Yeah. yeah. They got their no bail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No bail. There is a concern among Democrats that the vote for Trump is hardening within the black community. It's solidifying. It's not just a fancy fancy. And I think Democrats, both black and white, liberals, they're, they're panicking. Some of the reasons why blacks, particularly black men, are drawn to Trump is that he puts America first. He puts Americans first. We see that Joe Biden and his administration, they're now in this battle with the state of Texas to cut down the barbed wire. We, ladies and gentlemen, have essentially an invasion of our country yeah. going on. Yeah. Agreed. Exactly. Black people are waking up. All you have to do, I would recommend it if, if you want verification, go on YouTube, black residents in Chicago, type in Chicago, black people, immigrants. They are fed up. Black people are now feeling the effects. Yeah. You know, when these liberal mayors, oh, we want to be a sanctuary city in New York, LA, even Newark, New Jersey. We want to be a sanctuary city. But you see, they don't put the illegals where Nancy Pelosi lives, mm -hmm. where the elite live. They put them with us. And I'm not anti anything, but it must be done correctly and fairly. I mean, the hypocrisy of these leftists and liberals is stunning. Is it me, folks, or was that lady awesome? Truth bombs left and right. She threw hand grenades at the Democrat Party, at Joe Biden, and at the way things are going, including the fact that um, they ain't treating Trump right either. At least Trump looks out for the American people, and that is the bottom line here, folks. That is going to be the difference in this 2024 election we got coming up. Encourage yourself, everybody you know, and even encourage um, people, if necessary, by giving them a ride to go vote. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my best to get everybody that works with me, which is hundreds of guys. I've been putting a bug in some of them's ear since day one, uh, me starting this job. But I want to confirm that everybody that works around me votes. If they don't, <clears throat> then I'm trying to talk them into it. That's just who I am. That's part of one of the reasons I do this channel is uh, voting matters uh, more than most things. Uh, I know how things have gone in the past with our elections. But if we don't create a massive landslide victory for Trump, uh, then we're screwed. Because they are going to try to do uh, use their opposition research to do uh, fraudulent things to sway the process. Now, we do know at this point that the Supreme Court looks like they are going to rule in Trump's favor, uh, which seemed like common sense they would have to anyway. But listening to three hours of a Colorado, um, the Cal Colorado District Attorney trying to plead his case to um, <clears throat> the nine Supreme Court justices, I didn't hear not one conversation that actually, uh, where they asked him questions, took turns asking him questions, or anybody could defend uh, his situation, not even the Democrats, Sotomayor, all of them. Asked him some questions that he just really didn't have a good answer for. It looks like it's going to be a 8-1 or a 9-0 decision. That is the speculation at this point on the Supreme Court case. And so hopefully that was squash all this uh, ballot, uh, trying to remove somebody from the ballot garbage. This stuff will go by the wayside. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, if not sooner, uh, the minute it does happen, I'm bringing you a short. So um, be watching for that. Um, if not a full full length video about it. A lot of times I catch breaking news early in the morning and so I just put it in as a short because I'm on a time crunch getting ready to, for work. But that's sometimes that's the way you have to do it. But at any rate folks, like the sticker says, I did that. Joe Biden did do that and he's doing it to the black community. He's doing it to every community in this, in this United States and he's doing it with the illegals he's doing it with the inflation he's in the economy and uh, his priorities and his policies that are probably not his uh, they confirmed yesterday that he's pretty much brain dead uh, the Department of Justice uh, come out with a statement after Biden was interrogated for five hours about his documents and they come to the conclusion that he can't remember squat he can't recall dates times he can't recall even uh, the years that he was vice president and uh, 
I don't think he's playing stupid. I just think the man couldn't put up with five hours of questioning. He, I don't think he can make it. I think he's that far gone at this point. And they've just been hiding that from us. But truth be known, they're not hiding it so much no more. When the Department of Justice comes out and says, Biden can't be held accountable for his crimes involving his documents, which are many, because he's incompetent. So if he's in too incompetent to be charged with his actions, with his previous actions, even though he may not have been as cognitively declined back when all this stuff uh, transacted, when he actually removed the documents and uh, different, different things, um, the fact of the matter is if he's too incompetent to be held accountable for that, wouldn't that adversely say that he must be at least a little bit incompetent when it comes to running for president in 2024. How can you say he can't stand trial, uh, no charges found, because he's got a bad memory and he's shot, but he's our 2024 candidate anyway. I don't think that's going to work, folks. I think they're pushing him out. I think this was the beginning of the conversation that has been whispered in the background for a long time. Joe's not going to make it. Joe can't do another four years of this. At one point, they're going to have to replace him. And as far as him being on the ticket, they're almost out of time to to replace him. But uh, he can't win. He's not going to beat Trump. I don't believe that. But I do believe <clears throat> that the only way Trump will win and win in a landslide where we keep our um, House of Representatives and we flip the Senate is if we take this country in a landslide. So I encourage everybody not just to vote, register to vote, uh, encourage people to register to vote. If people need a ride to go vote, help them. Find a way. Family members that normally don't go vote, get on the phone. Go get them. Make sure they're registered. Uh, that's that's what I'm going to do. That's all I can do at this point as far as um, what I'm working with. But like I said, I work around 100 and something welders and, uh, and engineers and uh people that do all kinds of uh, different uh, installation. And I would say 75% of them, I would guess, are uh, Trump supporters. But I bet 75% of them are voting. And so that's where um, it's our mission as voters, not just to vote, but to encourage people to vote. Because we're fighting socialism here, folks. This is not just picking the good guy over the bad guy. This is fighting for the right for our country to survive another four years. And uh, the Democrat Party, Socialist Party, is not trying to uh, let us make it another four years. Four more years of Biden or even a replacement like Gavin Newsom would probably be the end of freedom as far as, far as we know it. And that's what I have to believe just from what I've seen in the last three years. But that's all i got for you folks. Just this lady was a... Uh, Nothing but a truth bomber. I just thought I had to share this one with y'all. So don't forget to share this video out. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And is she right about the DEI stuff? That's what's part, part of what's wrong with this country. They're hiring too many idiots that don't know what they're doing because they're the wrong color. Or they're a color. And a certain sexual orientation. That's definitely not a good job qualification from anything I've ever been involved in. But like I said, that's all I got for you folks. Everybody have a great day. Over and out.